Uh, today we are going to start the photosynthesis and it's a really a uh, very important process we can say that's why you no know, life is possible on earth due to that only even we cannot think the life of organism without photosynthesis is it or not yes so the name itself photosynthesis photo plus synthesis right if we will discuss about light so which light visible range of light visible range of light am i audible clearly everyone yes sir okay so what is the frequency of visible range of light can anyone yes anyone can answer do reply you are not replying you are there or not beta you all are there sir what's the question ha beta what the question sir question what is the frequency of visible range of light sir like speed of light sir uh, do we have new student today yes sir uh, your name beta dhananjay sir okay welcome to tanak tutorial actually today i got little late because i was in a meeting okay otherwise we used to like start class at 7:30 but i planned today for 8 due to an important meeting was there okay so so every day we are having classes by 7:30 to 8:30 pm okay so once again welcome to chanak tutorial okay so we were discussing about photosynthesis so photosynthesis is actually made up of two words photo and synthesis so photo means light sir? right yes beta Sir, can you remove uh, my yes. other account, sir? Give it up. Wait. Which one? Oh, okay, okay, sir. It uh, automatically is le left, sir. Okay, okay. Okay. So, who will tell me the frequency of visible range of light? Anyone have any idea? It's four hundred nanometer to it's seven fifty approximate, but you know, uh, exactly. But somewhere it is eight hundred beta. So don't get confused about it. Okay. So you just do remember seven fifty is approximate eight hundred. Okay. So it is between four hundred to eight hundred nanometer. Okay. It is the frequency of visible range of light. So out of which the photosynthetically active radiation is about uh, actually three eighty nanometer to sixty nanometer, beta. Okay, it is called as TAR. What is TAR? Photosynthetically active radiation. Photo synthetically active radiation. Okay, TAR. Understood? Photosynthetically active radiation. Yes, sir. Okay. So and between these two, you know, our uh, range, and we know visible range of light contain all the seven color. What are they? V, I, B, G, Y, O, R. You know, right? Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So out of which you know the see one of the scientists who. Experiment on aerobic bacteria. Aerobic bacteria means those bacteria they used to perform photo like uh, uh, they used to perform nutrition or oxidation of food in presence of oxygen means they grows in presence of oxygen beta. So they are called as aerobic. And anaerobic means those bacteria or viruses they grows they develop in absence of 
oxygen okay so they he, he worked on he worked on aerobic bacteria so he found that a bacteria were like deposited or they get you know from the colonies on the blue and red color of light mostly that means it shows that the photosynthetically active radiation where blue and red color light is very active in photosynthesis understood okay sir yeah so he made uh, like uh, arrangement in such a way that light was passed through the prism and it gets split into different color and on different color he put some bacteria and some algaes okay so algaes were developed on like it was like only one container here so algae used to grow here means they do perform photosynthesis and bacteria were growing there they used to get collected on blue color and red color of light because on that particular portion only the algae was performing the photosynthesis so it shows that the blue color and the red color light is important for photosynthesis understood keep replying yes sir understood sir okay so i hope you understood what is photo means so photo means light and light contains the energy called radiant energy radiant energy. okay radiant energy and synthesis means to prepare or to form to form okay so to form okay to form the food in presence of light okay and here the chlorophyll is important pigment which acts or which act as a like energy trapping pigment you can say it used to absorb the radiant energy and converts it into chemical energy and then that chemical energy is deposited in the form of food in plants okay which is nothing but the starch beta any doubt in the name of photosynthesis now no no okay awesome. okay so let let discuss the process now so i want everyone had to take a Right where? Okay. So yeah, why is this breaking, sir? Why is this breaking? And now it's good, sir. Okay. Uh, I think some time I used to record, you know. Uh, that's why. Okay. Am I audible now clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. so visible range of light contain all these seven color and out of the seven color blue color and red color the light is response 80 nanometer light is called as par photosynthetically active radiation okay so these are the very important key point we already gone through here take a screen shot beta everyone done keep replying yes sir done yes sir yes sir done okay now next now we are going to understand the process okay so in process i am not like uh, taking the you know ready made diagram here i am just going to draw i'm just trying actually i'm not a good painter but i'm just still trying so suppose we have the earth surface okay here we have the stem of and here we have the root they are associated root okay this is the tap root system i have drawn here then here we have the stem of the plant okay like this okay and here i'm just going to draw one branch and here we have one leaf okay so okay and that function i am just taking zoom over here so the shells like this okay 
it is cuticle no no uh, epidermis these are the two cells are called beta guard cell in guard cell okay what is the role of guard cell okay this is the opening is stomata stomata so that guard cell controls the opening and closing of stomata controls the opening and closing of stomata okay then here we have the cells okay here it is filled with the chlorophyll okay they can plus there okay that green pigment i am drawing here no it is chloroplast beta okay so see now let discuss the process see here we have the soil right soil is it soil contain water right and water contain dissolved minerals right yes sir yes sir okay so what along with the dissolved minerals it called it a capillary water capillary water understood what is capillary water is everyone yes sir, yes, sir. Yes. good you became like very clever only one time like single time you used to understand the things very good nice 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 okay i am happy okay so here we have the roots okay so again i had to draw one important like zoom part over here of the root so here we have the cell okay and it is covered by the structure like this this is called as root cap root cap okay uh, after root cap these are the cell which used to absorb the water from the surrounding okay wait a second beta okay so this is the root cap okay here we have the root cap okay and these cells are they are directly in contact with the capillary water okay and they used to absorb water beta from the surrounding okay from surrounding means the soil suppose here we had the soil and here the water is present these are nothing but the like blocks of the uh, what soil you can say they contain water where minerals are present in dissolved condition and these are being absorbed by the plant so here we have one important process okay. see these cells contain less concentration of minerals or uh, mineral water you can say and these cell okay uh, look, no no the outer part the water contain more nutrient so water moves from the region of higher concentration to lower concentration okay this process is called as beta diffusion is called as what diffusion another process uh, water molecules move from the region of lower concentration to higher concentration is called as beta osmosis so here also we have next process called osmosis okay so with the help of osmosis and diffusion water is being absorbed okay and it transported to the various part of the plant okay and these specialized tissues are called as beta what xylem tissue you know xylem yes sir yeah so xylem cells help in transportation of water all over the plant against the gravity against the gravity okay then that means water is absorbed from the soil okay through roots so this is the part of root understood yes sir Okay. okay. Sir, once can you again explain the part of roots, sir? Like uh, the okay. zoom diagram. See the tip of the root. Okay, 
uh, it's called a bit of root cap. Okay, it generally used to the like newly born root present on the root tip so that they are not going to like get damaged by the mechanical shock by the soil or animal, whatever, like they get mechanical shock from there. Okay, so it used to protect. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Next. Okay. So here only the like, and that particular reason, okay, where these cells are directly from there. Okay. So then is entered into the xylem cell and it travels towards the leaf because here we had to perform the photosynthesis. So now we have already understood water is being absorbed. Okay, now see these stomata, okay, and guard cells, they used to open and close the stomata per the requirement. Okay, so when this stomata opens, so oxygen release and carbon dioxide gas is being absorbed here. What is the percentage of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere? Yes. The, uh, one percent, sir. Like no. it's uh, in, it contains of zero point one percent. It's zero point zero two to zero point zero four percent somewhere. Zero point zero four. Okay. This is the percentage of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. Okay. So that oxygen, like carbon dioxide, is being absorbed by this neighboring cell of the stomata. Okay. So see, they contain actually oxygen. Okay, and less amount of carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide has been already used by the process called photosynthesis. That's why this cell contains very less amount of carbon dioxide. And when this stomata opens, so carbon dioxide along with other gases enter inside the stomata, is it? And these cells, they used to absorb the carbon dioxide again by the process called diffusion. So the carbon dioxide moves from the individual cell of the stomata or the leaf, you can say, right? Okay, so now we have carbon dioxide also. So water molecule or plant, we can say, used to absorb water from the soil through roots and carbon dioxide from the surrounding through stomata and converts it into the food. Okay, that food is nothing but the carbohydrate, sugar, okay? Like, see, Glucose, when yes. the photos... Yeah, photosynthesis is being performed actually glucose and fructose glucose and fructose okay are two simple compounds are formed when they do combine combine they form it as sugar or it is also called a sucrose okay this sugar is being transported to all over the plant but during deposition that sugar convert it's a very important process it has been uh, by the photosynthesis glucose and fructose is formed Okay, sometimes glucose, so it get you know uh, isomerized into fructose, and it they combine to form sugar molecule. So sugar molecule is being transported all over the plant in order to use or maybe in order to deposit. And if it is deposited, so it is deposited in the form of starch beta. Okay, and that process is takes place in presence of sunlight. So we can light the event or Still, if we will write ultraviolet rays, UV rays will also do. UV rays will also do. Okay. And here we are having uh, like chlorophyll beta, chlorophyll. So chlorophyll actually the molecule or it is the coordinate compound of magnesium ion, Mg2 plus ion beta. Okay. So they have absorbed the energy of the sunlight and converts it into the chemical energy. So actually what happens there, we have to understand. Uh, just let me know in that part, any doubt you have. Everyone. Sir, almost how much time does it take to complete one processor? Okay, so it takes place during daytime continuously beta. Like, uh, it is, okay, I'll make it a little short. In that part, tell me first that. Everyone, keep replying. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Any doubt, Peter? I'm asking to everyone. No, sir. 
No, sir. No doubt, sir. Okay, okay. Mohini, Anjini, Sresh is there. Okay, I'm just, uh, just take a screenshot because I'm going to scroll it down. Okay, now see what happens generally. So here we have first water molecule H2O. Okay, with the help of light, okay, light, ultraviolet rays. Okay, that water splits into, I'm just taking the water molecule term. Okay, so it gives six oxygen and forms 24 H positive ion. Okay, that H positive ion are nothing but the energy packet you can see. Okay, and that oxygen gas is released there. Okay, so that reaction in which water is being get split, split what what is right here? Is it breaking down now? Is it? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. So that process requires the light. So it is light dependent process. Light dependent process, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's why that reaction is called as light reaction. Light reaction. So in light reaction, water molecule gets split into oxygen and hydrogen. Okay, that process requires light. That's why it is called as light reaction, and it takes place in the part of chlorophyll called granite. Okay, where in grana it is take place beta. Okay, then that 24. Now next process. Now we have 4 H positive ion. They do react with dioxide CO. Okay. And they use, so I'm writing a 6 CO2, and they use C6 H12 O6. And here six water molecule also releases in the form of vapors. Okay, so see again reaction is balanced. Okay, so that particular reaction, see this is the chemical energy beta. Chemical energy. Okay, here we have light energy or radiant energy you can say. So radiant energy. So radiant energy here got converted into chemical energy in light reaction, okay? And light reaction, okay, light chemical energy is converted into food then. So food is what deposited energy, right? So that food is that stored energy, stored energy. So it is potential energy, you can say. Right, potential energy. And that reaction, do not require light. So there is no need of light here. That's why that reaction is called as dark reaction. Dark reaction. No, it means it do not everyone. Keep replying, Beta. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yeah. This is the process how photosynthesis takes place. Sir, can you explain dark reaction again? Okay. See, in dark reaction, see during light, okay, water is gets, gets split into the oxygen, right? And hydrogen positive ion. They are also called as protons. Okay. So it is nothing but the chemical energy. It is chemical energy. And in See, what are the products for photosynthesis no, no, reactant? We have water molecule. So I'm writing full reaction here actually. This 12 H2O plus 6 CO2 equals to C6 H12 O6 plus 6 O2 plus 6 H2O. This is the reaction actually. Okay, so see here. We have that. Let me make a different color for that. Okay, here we have. 12 H2 molecule. So here we had 12 H2 molecule. Then that oxygen is being released here. So here also oxygen is being released, right? Then 
glucose is formed so here glucose is formed this is our product okay then water is also formed six molecule water so here six molecule of water okay carbon dioxide is required six co2 so here six co2 is required okay so all this whatever the part i have rounded with the different like multiple color ink are nothing but the reactant and product of the reaction okay so here when light reaction takes place water molecule get split into oxygen and hydrogen positive ion okay see here we have 12 h2o in 12 h2o we have total hydrogen 24 right that's why we have here 24 h positive ion so that 24 h positive ion are nothing but chemical energy okay energy packet in the form of h positive ion okay then role of carbon dioxide takes place so see here addition addition of carbon like hydrogen takes place in this reaction right that what is called as reduction so reduction of carbon dioxide takes place here into food so carbon dioxide is getting reduced into food or glucose itself understood okay. yes so yes, this sir. is the way how process takes place beta otherwise the representation of reaction is See, if you will subtract that water molecule from here, so we do require only six water molecules. Okay, wait. Six H two O. Okay, then we had six CO two. Okay, and right like ultraviolet rays, or you can write sunlight also. And here chlorophyll, and you can write C six H twelve O six plus six O two. okay so this is just the representation of reaction but the reaction is that what i have wrote here okay okay sir okay sir yes so this is about photosynthesis and one more thing i want to mention here like food is formed let me change the color yeah food is formed okay in the form of glucose okay it is transported in the form of sugar okay then food is deposited food is deposited in the form of starch okay any doubt no sir sir understood sir okay okay so take a screenshot beta for that this is the process huh? process how the process takes place how photosynthesis takes place okay dancer okay okay so i want you have to ask questions related to photosynthesis Okay. Okay. Uh, you are asking one question, Priyesh, right? Priyashi. Yes, sir. You are asking like how fast or how long it takes to complete process, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is not fixed for that. Why? Because early morning the radi intensity of the light is very less. Okay. Then afternoon it changes. 
It was four uh, before noon, after noon, and evening time. It also changes. So the intensity of light is not fixed. Okay, that's why uh, like it is unpredictable. You can say. So, uh, sir, it is uh, not uh, like it uh, depends upon like the in the uh, intensity yeah. of the light, right, sir? Yeah. No, no, intensity of light also, availability of water also, availability okay, of okay. carbon dioxide also, also which are required. Yes. Yes. No doubt. Sir, can you once again explain like food is transformed, like transported, food is formed. Like, can you again explain that, sir? Okay. Step wise. Okay. 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 So, see here, food is formed on the leaf. Like uh, right here, like CO2, then water. Okay. They used to perform the food here. Or they used to perform the photosynthesis and to form food, right? So, in leaf, food is formed in the form of bitter glucose. Then, food is transported to the various parts of the plant for the use or maybe for the deposition, right? Is it? Is it? Do yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes. So it is transported by the specialized tissue called phloem. Beta, phloem. Xylem was putting water and phloem transports. Okay. So during the transportation, the glucose turns into bitter sugar. Okay, for transportation, glucose turns into sugar. So in plant body, if food has been transported, so it is transported in the form of sugar only. But if it is deposited, okay, deposition. So where is it deposited? Like uh, also in tuber root also tuber. So it is a deposited food. Okay. Okay. Sir. Yeah. In fruit, vegetables, whatever that we are eating, okay, plant product are nothing but the deposited food of the plant. Okay. So if it is deposited, which is deposited, okay, deposited in the form of in the form of such. Okay, the food that we are eating it contains such. Okay. In our body, the process reverse means starch gets split into sugar, and sugar again gets split into glucose, and glucose is being absorbed in our body. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, and uh, we already gone through which enzyme helps in digestion of starch to starch to sugar and sugar to glucose. Salivary amylase. Yes. yes, amylase. Salivary amylase. That sugar, uh, like uh, the amylase, which is secreted in our mouth, okay, which break down starch into the sugar called maltose sugar. Okay, we already gone through that in last to last lecture. Any orbit and in have you can ask, but I am here. So plants they do prepare their own food by using simple in organic substance from the surrounding. Okay. That process is very important, and the plant which they do perform such process are called beta autotroph because they are the people supplying food in the food. Right. That's why plants are called as producers. Called as what? Producers. Yes. Okay. Ask me the doubts, Vita, if you have in photosynthesis part. Yes, I have. Yes. No doubts. Okay. So now I, have, I am going to ask questions to you. Okay. So okay, first sir. question goes to um, Monish. 
Are you there, Monish? Nitishri. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, Monish. Uh, what is the range of light, okay, uh, which is required for the photosynthesis? Which is also called as... Yes, sir. Sir, it is 380 nanometer to 680 nanometers. Yes, very good. Nitishri. Yes, sir. Nitishri, what's wrong, Beta? Why you are being so sad? Huh? Nothing, sir. Well, there is something because I didn't heard your voice. Because you used to not to yes. What's wrong with her? Huh? Nothing, sir. 